Yes, yeah, so this is my 1.2 Ti, which I've owned uh, since February 1977. It's a, a March 76 car, so I'm not quite the first owner. I was introduced to the Alpha Sud by a friend of mine when I used to live in South Wales. When he was talking about it and the specification of the car with the flat four engine, uh, the inboard brakes to reduce unsprung weight, the rear disc brakes as well at the back of this car, the specification generally appealed very much. And then when I drove it, the handling was so sharp. It was it, it, so much in accordance with all the um, sort of motoring journalist reports at the time, of which many I've managed to collect over the years. Uh, I, I, the, the novelty of the first drive of my car is, is never worn off. I've never grown bored with it. I've never looked to change it. I've never wanted to, to move it on. And so I've kept it pretty much all in its original condition. I, I've had the bonnet repainted. I had that done three or four years ago, just, just a number of stone chips. I've just kept it really as I, I got it all those years ago, four, 40 odd years ago. So. This car in particular has been featured in quite a number of um, classic car magazines. It was on Top Gear program once many years ago, Tiffany Dell drove it. It's always been a car which is in favour of the motoring world, despite its flaws, it's, it's, um, it, it rusted terribly, or mine didn't because of the way I looked after it and kept it off the road, off the wet, but they were always inclined to rust and very, very, very few of them have survived now. This particular example has opened so many doors for me in terms of meeting uh, photographers, journalists, uh, road testers, it's, uh, it's been a, a very rounded experience of ownership. In many ways, I've proven people wrong in the sense that, oh, this car won't last five minutes, you know, you'll either crash it or... I was 21 when I bought it, so I was right in that kind of bracket of being a bit of a boy racer. I was never a particularly hard driver, but, uh, you know, it was, it, it was that sort of genre of car, I guess, which could have fallen foul to... Um, to hard driving. I know one or two people who have rolled theirs. Um, so yes, it was it was a car I loved right from the start. The, the specification on paper and then the ownership itself was um, very, very fulfilling for me. It's very encouraging to see so much enthusiasm within the Alfa Romeo Owners Club. And I, I hope and I dearly expect that will continue indefinitely.